This is the cattle commodity in the Philippines and will be presented by the cattle group. The report will follow the agribusiness framework. To begin with, what is a cattle? So cattle, or well stores in Ticus Linnaeus, is a domesticated bovine animal commonly raised for its meat, milk, and or for draft purposes. Meat from cattle is called beef and is rich in vitamins and minerals, especially iron and zinc. Cow's milk is an excellent source of protein, calcium, magnesium, and vitamin B12. Cattle can be further classified into two species, namely Bos taurus and Bos indicus. Bos taurus breeds originate from Europe and are humpless, while Bos indicus or Zebu breeds are hump cattle originating from South Asia. Cattle were first brought in the Philippines from Mexico back in 1586. This is because the Spaniards were struggling to adjust the animals on the local shore. Matangas, having fodder grass, was the only province that could provide care for animals of its kind. The cattle industry formally started in the Philippines in the 15th century. During this time, cow's milk was not yet pasteurized and was made into soft cheese. It wasn't until the 1900s when the first milk processing plant was established, now known as the Magnolia Dairy Plant when bought by the San Miguel Corporation. The Dairy Training and Research Institute, also known as D3, was then established a few decades later and has become a unit of the College of Agriculture in, in the University of the Philippines, the Spaniards. Currently, an indigenous cattle called the Philippine cattle is present in the country. They commonly have a color of brown and gray with occasional white spotting. Males have low humps while females are humpless. It has been reported that as of July 1, 2020, the Philippines has a total of 2.6 million cattle, which is higher than 40,000 heads as compared to the same period in 2019. The Locos region, Central Visayas, and Calabar zone are the top three regions holding the highest inventory of cattle in the country. 94% of cattle raisers in the Philippines are small holders, raising two to three heads each, while the remaining 6% are commercial farmers. Backyard farming or small hold is the most common method of cattle raising in the country and has three types. These are the cow calf operation, breeder farm operation, and growing fattening operation. Cattle raised under the growing fattening operation will be used for consumption. This method is the most popular in the Philippines among the three as it is the most profitable and the easiest to maintain. Now we head into the input subsystem which contains feed information, housing, and clean water. It is very important to ensure that the cows have access to suitable housing and clean water for drinking. If you're planning to raise cows for production, you must be ready to learn all the necessary care and management practices in order to make sure they are safe and healthy. The major input for the cattle industry is feed. Animal feeds is one of the most important things to prepare when planning to raise livestock for it affects the growth and the quality of the products that we get from them. The three different types of animal feeds are raffages, concentrates, and mixed feeds. Raffages contain high amounts of fiber. Concentrates contain energy-rich grains and mineral supplements, while mixed feeds contain a balanced ratio of nutrients. In the Philippines, we mostly feed our cattle a mixture of raffages and concentrates. Farms are considered to be operating in large-scale operations when the livestock population has at least 21 heads for adult animals and 41 heads for young animals, or 10 heads for adult animals and 22 heads for young animals. The facilities needed for large-scale operations are the following. There is a required space measurement per head, which is 1.5 square meters to two square meters for sheltered feeding area, while five square meters is needed per head in a fenced living area. Backyard farming is not as systematized as what is done in commercial farming or large scale farming. In backyard farming, also known as the small scale farming, it does not require extensive inputs for the animals to survive. Cows are allowed to graze in the fields and vacant lands where there is abundant grass and other forages. Usually, the members of the family take turns in taking care of these animals. In terms of shelter, in small-scale farming, small barns are provided made of old 
scraps of wood scratched together, while others depend on the shade of trees to protect themselves from the heat. When it comes to the volume of leaves, since they are allowed to graze anywhere with abundant grass, there is no exact data on the volume of leaves they intake. So the estimated value could be computed through the body weight and feed efficiency and conversion of ratios of the animals. The methods used to estimate the value of feeds are the trial and error method and the Pearson square method. Given that the majority of cattle racers in the Philippines are small smallholders or backyard style holders, they often seek um, cost efficiency feeds through refuges or forages along with concentrates. Farms mostly use a 60 by 40 ratio of concentrates and grass. Benefarin Corporation is a company that provides feeds and has a partnership with Hakchan Livestock Cooperative of the Republic of Korea in 2015. To be able to provide feeds that would be able to follow the required feed intake for these animals. Still, there are several problems faced by the cattle industry in the input sector. One would be the lack of infrastructures, unavailability of storage to keep fresh foods, and the processing facilities for the cattle. The production subsystem. Cattle production in the Philippines is among the least developed commodities and is heavily reliant on importation. A prime reason why is because the industry is composed of small food farms that can cater or produce the needed demand in the local market. Also, land and grazing fields are slowly depleting. Importation of cattle results in an increase in animal stock. However, it seems as though these efforts aren't enough, where we still have a negative growth as compared to our neighboring countries such as Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, Indonesia, and Myanmar. Among the areas that we need to improve on are our nutrition, pasture management, and marketing systems. The implementation of the comprehensive agrarian uniform law is also a factor as to why our cattle production is decreasing. Livestock farming is a term used to describe the activities, techniques, and practices Farmers conduct and, imp and implement in raising the animals from birth to marketing. In the Philippines, there are six types of livestock farming practices. This includes intensive, semi-intensive, extensive, nomadic, transhumant, and organic. With the technological developments, the Philippines have been adapting different feeding methods such as artificial insemination and embryo transfer to improve and increase animal production. Studies abroad have found ways to develop cattle using gene editing and it, it could improve cattle production in the country once it is available for mass production. The take note that there have been many ethical issues worldwide on the uses of gene editing, thus civilized with many regulatory groups and agencies. Common problems in production of cattle are on livestock health and nutrition management, which are most probably brought about by the lack of knowledge on the proper care of the animals. Improper and inadequate feeding and diseases may cause the cattle to be ineligible for marketing. The processing subsystem. Aside from meat and dairy products, other parts of the animal, such as the brain, blood, bones, skin, and internal organs, and fat are processed not just for our consumption, but for daily activities as well. Some of the corporations that processes dairy products include Selecta, Alaska, Magnolia, Booking Manual Company, and New Fresh Dairy Farms Incorporations, while processing meat plants include the Monterey Foods Corporation, Brown Beef Company and Pure Foods Farmer Company. Local milk production this year is estimated to reach between 20,000 to 26,500 million bucks because of the new dairy development projects. The total milk production is shared by different ruminants with 65% from cows.
Moving on, there are 51 companies involved in new processing, retail, trading, input supplier, and logistics, service providers, and many of you. Philippines meat production is extremely low because the raw materials used in processing plants are mainly imported from other countries. Local racers are also prohibited as suppliers to commercial plants because of some technical constraints that inhibits their produce to be considered in the market. These technical constraints include the cost of inputs and availability of support facilities. As per the daily industry, its processing in the Philippines amounted to 715 million pesos in 2015. In the future, it is expected that it would continue to rise in response to consumer preferences. The existing discrepancy between supply and demand is wide. Since the raw materials for production is lacking locally, the country is heavily reliant on imports. Other inputs are not readily available as well, adding to the costs, as input prices are higher than if it were sourced locally. Furthermore, the standards imposed by governing bodies have to be followed by the processing companies, such as factory facilities, machineries, and equipment, which would add to the cost of processing production. Moving on to the super subsystem. It includes institutions, development programs, investment opportunities, and other agro-services. Supporting the Philippine cattle industry are the Department of Agriculture, National Dairy Authority, Philippine Carabao Center, Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources Research and Development, and the Bureau of Animal Industry. These institutions work hand in hand, ensuring the welfare of cattle and farmers. They also aim um, to develop the Philippine cattle industry. Several government institutions have shown support to the cattle industry through, through various projects and programs, some of the which are the De Department of Trade Industry Shared, um, Shared Service Facilities Project. This project aims to help provide certain equipment, facilities, and other needs that are micro, small, and medium enterprises, including meat and processing businesses may have. Additionally, um, a similar program called the Small Enterprise Technology Upgrading Program or Setup was created by the Department of Science and Technology. Tenure Livestock and Dairy Program um, the Department of Agriculture has a 10-year livestock and dairy program starting from the year 2018. A budget of 3.7 billion was allotted for this program and some of which will be used for construction of facilities necessary for cattle raising and production. The ultimate goal of the project is to raise the country's cattle inventory to 2.5 to, to 5 million heads and eventually increase milk production by 1 to 10%. The National Dairy Authority currently has four programs, namely herd build-up, dairy business enhancement, milk quality assurance, and milk feeding program. Overall, NDA oversees the entire cattle industry through these programs. Investment priorities are mainly to develop a sustainable local supply of dairy cattle and improve their performance. There are also other agri-services for cattle that provide health services. Um, assistance on artificial insemination as well as licensing of moving on to marketing subsystem. Um, cattle is mostly uh, in the Philippines, marketing of cattle is mostly done traditionally. They are called barrier agents, which expand in an order of process. Barrier agents, shippers, manila based buyers, and meat retail retailers. Some areas in all to host live auction markets. Host live auction markets where the animal is available for bidding for the public. Cattle, meat, and other products from the animal are, from the animal are sold in wet, super, and hypermarkets. The last two mentions are the top channels for distribution for their products. Producers and traders offer variety from cattle 
aside from beef and milk, processed meats such as hot dog and hamburger patties, uh, dairy products such as butter and butter and cheese, um, could be produced as well. Moreover, essentials such as uh, this lipstick, soap, leather, and candles are made from cattle as well. These products are found everywhere in the market, may it be the local wet market and supermarkets. Moreover, non-food products such as leather and cosmetics are also found in department stores. Some medicine also contains beef fat, uh, which are found in par pharmacies. The prices of cattle rises over time. It is observed that it, it is consistently rising, especially while in the pandemic. Average farm gate prices of slaughtered cattle this quarter was 121.61 pesos, pesos per kilogram live weight. Compared last year, there is 8.1% higher, which was quoted at 112.54 pesos per kilogram. Meat imports during 2016 was approximately 73,844.15 metric tons with an estimated value of 239 million. Currently, a greater percentage of the beef cattle supply consists of imports rather than local produce. Nonetheless, uh, this has addressed the insufficient supply of beef in the Philippines, and it, and it has been projected that our supply of beef cattle would only continue to increase a surplus of 96,577.07 metric tons of beef is expected this year. Same goes for our dairy. The majority of our dairy supply are imports. Total supply reached 2.77 metric tons in 2016. Our main suppliers are New Zealand, um, New Zealand, USA, and Australia. Next, on the other hand, the Philippine exports their products to several countries such as Australia, Canada, USA, um, Th uh, Thailand, and Malaysia. Moving on to the SWOT analysis, starting with the inputs. The strength of the input sector of our country is that we have lands available for the production and cultivation of common feed concentrates. However, funding is still a problem. For opportunities, we are seeing a rise in demand in cattle products. But unfortunately, we still depend heavily on importation. Also, available farmlands are being converted into housing projects. Next, we have the farmer production subsystem. Having low cost of production and a small number of requirements for effective cattle raising are its main strengths. Though the industry is not extensively backed up by organizations or by the government, resulting in farmers opting to raise other livestock animals such as pigs and chickens. Hence, demand for cattle is still low. On the other hand, beef is a good alternative protein source, and the prices of beef may be lowered in the future as long as there is continual support from the government. We then go to the processing subsystem. The availability of wide and variety of processed products from cattle and the existence of manufacturing and processing companies are its strengths. However, we still rely on dairy and beef imports, and only a small percentage of dairy comes from our own farmers. As for opportunities, the processing subsector can be developed if given more attention through programs and projects. And with enough funds, there will be more processing and manufacturing facilities, resulting in improved quality of products since product processing is very costly. Lastly, we have the marketing subsystem. The strength of the sector is that cattle can be purchased at a premium price depending on its breed and its quality. But because some smallholders do lack information about farm management, they could be easily manipulated. Though no need to worry so much since several government agencies support the improvement of the cattle industry and this could then potentially boost both the industry and our economy. Cattle farming is mostly done on backyard farms. Inputs and other variables raising cattle depends on the farmer's financial capacity. Only big commercial farms and farmers intending to make huge profit are following the standards for cattle raising. 
cattle slaughtered and sold for meat by small scale farmers are 40% directly sold to the market, while 60% of them go through middlemen. For dairy, uh, most of the raw materials used are imported from different countries. The problems concerning the cow industry in the Philippines are the lack of proper facilities to support for the cow industry. Thus, the industry in the Philippines is at a loss when it comes to the farm, processing, and marketing sectors, but it could be improved over time. How? Long-term planning could be applied in establishing facilities, as well as integrating small, small farms into one group to lessen the expenses in cattle raising. Less cost of production, proving that the price of the produce will be lessened as well. Therefore, would encourage people to have a beef and farmers to invest in the industry. Feed concentrates must be given attention in order for the animal status to be improved and up to par with the standards in, in the usual commercial farm. Although in a third spot from the preferred meat in the country, there is still growing demand. Hence, continuous research and development will improve the cow industry tremendously in the future. Speaking of which, the governing bodies must acknowledge the statistics. High percentage of imports of beef and dairy, both raw and finished products alike. Then, devise a plan in order to assess the problem. We are reliant on other countries with almost half the supply coming from them. Local produce is much more affordable than foreign goods. Aside from simply raising cattle and using for meat and dairy, Leader farms and cattle farm seminars and programs they contribute to the knowledge of the farmers, therefore raising the quality of the livestock in the future. The six existing projects and programs aimed to help small-scale farmers must be taken advantage of the cattle racers, meat, and dairy processors. Since they account for the high percentage of the local supply, this opportunity will help them especially if they are on their own. Using the quality of the livestock will in turn increase the market for the industry.